According to the recent Australian Census, 46.6% of people aged over 15 are in a registered marriage. That's down just over one point in five years. 11.5% are in a de facto marriage, which is up by the same amount, while the proportion who are unmarried is unchanged. A big change to marriage during that five years was, of course, the legalisation of same-sex marriage at the end of 2017. In 2018, there were around 6,500 same-sex marriages. That was around 1 in 20 marriages. That fell to just above 5,500 in 2019, representing just under 5%. It's still early days for marriage equality and so the data is volatile. In 2019, the median age of women marrying other women was 36 and a half. That was down almost three years on the previous 12 months, but still six years older than women who marry men. The median age for same-sex male marriages fell five and a half years in just 12 months, but is still seven years older than the median male who married a female. So what we can deduce from that is that there were a lot of same-sex older couples waiting to be allowed to marry in 2018. The coronavirus pandemic had a remarkable impact on the number of people getting married in Australia. The number of registered marriages in 2020 fell over 30% to below 79,000, down from almost 114,000 the year before COVID hit. That was the largest fall on record. So much for marriage, how about divorce? Well, in 2020, there were 49 and a half thousand divorces in Australia. The average divorce takes about three years from separation to final settlement. So those divorces were already underway and the rate remained the same at just under two per thousand. The median age of Australians getting divorced was almost 46 for men and 43 for women. That's 10 years older than people in the 1980s and also reflecting the older ages at the time of their marriage. The largest number of people who get divorced have been married for nine years or less. The smallest group is among those who've been married for at least 20 years, although that older group is up seven points since the 1980s. Marriage equality also means divorce equality for same-sex couples. The Australian Bureau of Statistics says there are a small number of same-sex divorces in the overall divorce count, but we don't know how many because it's not currently possible to identify couples as same sex in the source data.